is America's border czar, and she's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. A quarter of a million Americans dead from fentanyl. The Trump campaign releasing that new ad taking on Kamala Harris's failures on immigration as a resurfaced video from her days as a senator reveals what she really thought about ICE agents. The Klan was a, what we would call today a domestic terrorist group. Why, why would we call them domestic terrorist group? Because they tried to use fear and force to change political environment. Are you aware of the perception? of um, many about w how the, the, the power and the discretion at ICE is being used to enforce the laws? And do you see any parallels? I, I do not see a parallel. <laughs> nope, I don't right, see a parallel. I don't think so. Nice try. Sean Hannity joins us now to react. Sean, that's not going to wear well, oh and it hasn't worn well, right? Okay, l let's start here and... Probably your job today is going to be to calm me down. The vetting of Kamala Harris has finally begun. People need to understand who she is, the position she's taken, how radical she is. She has invoked the KKK. She has invoked Nazism. She has invoked slavery. She wants sanctuary cities and states. We know that Kamala Harris says that illegal immigrants, that's not a criminal act. She wants free health care. She wants free education for illegal immigrants. She wants to eliminate the term. We have to have the courage to not say the words illegal alien. We need the courage not to say radical Islamic terrorism. This is a person that wants to eliminate private health care, your own private health insurance. She sponsored the Green New Deal. She's to the left of Bernie Sanders. Um, she's against fracking. She's against drilling. She wants no restrictions on abortion. By the way, if you're between the ages of 18 and 24, that would be Ainsley's age group. Uh, <laughs> she wish. thinks that the pe people in that age group are stupid. She wants to defund, dismantle, no bail laws, reimagine the police. She has surrendered in the war on terror, radical Islamic terrorism. Um, she wants a mandatory gun buyback. Let me interpret that for you. That is called gun confiscation. She wants 70 to 80 percent in terms of a tax rate. Let me tell you, I have a list right here of four pages of small print names of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's illegal immigrants right. that have murdered Americans. We know some of their names. Most Americans don't know all of their names. That little 12-year-old girl, Joshua Nungary in Texas, brutalized for two hours, raped and murdered. We know the name of Rachel uh, Morin, and that's the mother of five that was murdered by one of Joe and Kamala Harris's unvetted illegal immigrants. Uh, we know the name Lake and Riley. We know about the 13-year-old girl raped in broad daylight in Queens, New York. Listen, let me put it this way, and I said it last night, and I'll say it every night between now and election night. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, they have blood on their hands. They have facilitated this. They have aided and abetted in the law breaking. Mm -hmm. And they must be held accountable. And the worst part is, Brian, is they don't even call these families. They don't right. say they're sorry. You know, they don't judge, rethink their position. Pete Buttigieg says, Brian, prospectively, proportionally, illegal immigrants correct less crimes than any American. What's your answer to that? I didn't hear the, the last part of that question. He, he, what part? Pete Buttigieg says on Sunday that illegal immigrants commit less percentage of crimes than the average American. Look, uh, look, what she is saying is just a lie. She's the most radical person to ever run for the position of the presidency. You know, with this last minute change that we have, it has changed the, the dynamic of the race. And I know it has created in some people's minds upheaval and anxiety. And, you know, every election season, we're 90, what, seven, eight days away from election day. And everybody, it's an emotional roller coaster. And people have to understand if I'm the Trump campaign, you have one job. And that is to inform the American public of her record. Use her in her words. The media in this country mm. is so abusively biased and corrupt, they're not going to vet her. They are going to give her a pass. Everything that I just mentioned is not going to come up unless the Trump campaign brings it up. It is there. It's on them to make sure every American before early voting starts in 46 days in Pennsylvania is aware of her radical record. Sure. If they do that, 
Forget about all the criticisms of J.D. Vance and all the distractions and Republicans are racist, sexist and homophobic, xenophobic, whatever. America won't vote for her. That's my position. Sean, it's not just yes. the media. It's big tech, too. Here we go again. After sure. the assassination attempt on President Trump, Facebook censored the iconic photo of Trump getting up with the blood on his face and the fist in the air. They omitted that and they said it was a mistake. Then Google, if you type in the phrase, the assassination attempt of, there are no results for Trump. They said on Google, we're rolling out improvements. This is what Kirk Knutson, the cyber guy said about it. Listen. <clears throat> think you're dialing on to Facebook, Google, any social media company, any big tech company and getting the truth, you got another thing coming. It is being shaped and censored in the direction they want to provide to you. They'll say in hindsight when they're called out on it, oh, we did that for national security. Oh, or that was an accident. We don't know how that happened. And our algorithm's such a secret sauce, we can't even tell you how it happened. That's all bull. The fact is they're operating the way they want to operate. And whether they're censoring or not, the sad part is you and I don't well, know about it until today we're sitting here and calling it out. Sean, what's your response to that? They censor any of the search results. You have, you were right. The media doesn't talk about her record and how radicalized and how progressive she is. Ainsley, you can't underestimate the importance of your question, and and I am really serious. You know, Jim Jordan of the House Judiciary Committee was on my show, and he said we found evidence, Sean, that your social media accounts in 2020 were being suppressed by your government, uh, on top of, of course, every text message that I've ever sent out whenever they feel like releasing him. Unlike Peter Strzok, I'm not getting a $1.2 million payout in, in, in spite of the fact that they violated my privacy. But let's go back to 2020, and this is where it gets very relevant. In it, the, the FBI, in March of 2020, they verified the authenticity of Hunter Biden's laptop. They knew it was true. Now, why in the months before the 2020 election was the FBI meeting on a weekly basis with big tech companies warning big tech that they may be victims of a misinformation, disinformation campaign regarding either Joe and or mm -hmm. Hunter Biden? And then when the laptop story, right. the very true laptop story, was broken by the New York Post, uh, companies like, at the time, Twitter and Facebook they went to the FBI. The FBI had already verified the authenticity of the laptop. Then they asked, well, is this what you were warning us about or is this story true? The FBI knew it was true. They didn't gotcha. answer the question that it was true and they did it as an in-kind campaign donation, just like they used Hillary Clinton's dirty Russian disinformation dossier in 2016 mm -hmm. uh, as a means of getting not one but four FISA warrants, just like 51 former intel agents. They were organized by Wink and Tony Blinken. They knew nothing about Hunter's laptop and they lie to the American people. We have we have a deep state in this country that frankly is putting their 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 entire organization's right. weight on the scales of an election. How Go about ahead. yeah, Sorry. how about rewriting headline from 2021 to make it seem as though she wasn't the borders are. That's the craziest thing. Uh, <laughs> nuts. Hey Sean, it's gonna be I'm gonna make sure to watch your show tonight. Uh, there's a lot of things going right. on and we'll see if the uh, the Trump campaign Let me tell you can what switch we're doing, Brian. from Biden to Harris. Bri Go. Brian Ainsley and everybody watching, we, I am going to do the job along with many of us on here on okay. Fox. I will vet Kamala Harris so that every American knows right. just how radical she is. Well, every night you Once play her sound American bites. American people, it's, it's not just you heard yeah. that she said this. You're actually playing the sound bites of her radical pro progressive yeah. views. Right. All right, Joe. Her own words. Yep. We'll make sure to watch. Promise not to wear a tie. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. You Thanks for waking up for us, Sean. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.